Um, I'd like to show you what's inside um, one of these Hard to Start or 3-in-1 kits. And um, I couldn't find much information on the internet, so hopefully this will help you. This one um, has two wires on one side, which it says line here. And then the three other ones, which are supposed to go to the compressor. Common, um, run, and start windings. If you open it, the first thing you will notice is that actually these, these two black ones on this side, um, these two are basically the same wire. It's just turning and coming out. And usually this one, um, which was the common, it's actually your hot wire. The other one, which was the neutral, this black, goes to an overload. And from the other side of the overload, the black goes to your run winding. And that is the neutral side of your power. Um, after the overload, we simply have a relay and um, a capacitor in series, which is a start capacitor. And then the white one goes to your um, start pin of the compressor. Let me show you this wiring uh, diagram. So uh, one line, which is supposed to be the hot, um, goes in the kit and it actually just directly comes out as the common to the compressor. The other line, which is supposed to be the neutral, it goes to an overload protection. And from there, we get the red wire to the run pin. And then we have a relay and a start capacitor going out as the white wire to the start pin. Um, I measured these numbers um, for the relay, which is supposed to be a solid state relay. The resistance is five ohms and the start capacitor is 280 microfarads. Um, on the kit itself, they actually do not differentiate between the two lines, the black lines. But the one that is close to the other black line is supposed to be the hot, which goes out and becomes the common. And the other black line, which is on the side of the white output, that is supposed to be your neutral line. So before I proceed, I recommend this video created by this group. And they explain pretty nicely um, the function of the relay, the function of a start capacitor in older model, models and run capacitors. So I recommend you watch that. And um, this is the one that I have. Uh, it's a relay capacitor overload kit, as we saw. And technicians said, suggest that only use this for testing it can damage your compressor especially if your compressor do not have a start capacitor to begin with however if your compressor does not run with just a relay without a start capacitor you can use one of these to hard start your compressor and maybe you can get a few more years out of the compressor but if it's if it's the compressor, if, it, if it's in a good shape, um, you can use actually this alternative, which is only a relay and an overload. And with the same wiring, the only difference is if you compare, it's just it just doesn't have a start capacitor. So it's basically an overload and a relay similar to um, what you find from the factory on your fridge compressor already. And before we do connect those kits or a replacement relay, um, let's look at the compressor pins. Um, so on your compressor, you have 
a single pin at the top or at the bottom. If it's at the top, then the right side will be your run, the left side will be your start. And if on your compressor it's flipped, basically the run side is going to be on your left. And you would want to measure the resistance between your C and S pins. And let's say we get this number, a few ohms is normal. And then you would like to go to the other side and measure. And basically I'm showing the windings here inside your compressor. Um, on this side you have 4 ohms. And what you want to make sure to do is then proceed and um, measure the resistance between S and R. And it needs to add up. So 4 and now, um, now that we have tested the compressor, everything is fine, and we would like to identify the power lines at your fridge. Um, so you might get a line that originally connected to your overload and your top pin, the common, and your neutral line connects directly to the run pin and it also provides this other connection to the relay which goes to your um, start uh, pin and in addition you probably have a run capacitor which is simply another um, wire that goes here to your capacitor and then from the other side of the capacitor to your start winding okay now i'm going to show you how to bring the kit and connect it to your compressor this is the wiring diagram from the manufacturer that i got it from and let's look at so we saw before and now after connecting we are gonna First, um, remove the overlay, then remove the relay, and we will be left with two power lines and two run capacitor ends available. And I will show you in the next few slides um, a few actual examples because it might be a little tricky to identify these lines um, at the back of your compressor. So we're going to bring the kit and connect the black wire to the black line to this existing wire and uh, on the other end the black connector to your common pin of your compressor and then we will have the other um, uh, black uh, you know the bare wire connected to the line and inside your um, kit you're going to have an overlay a relay and a start capacitor and then on the other end you will have the red wire with its connector connecting to the compressor run winding and the white wire connecting to the start pin uh, and lastly we need to connect the run capacitor um, here which we will just connect one end and splice it to the red wire and the other end will splice to the white Um, this is one case that, as you can see, there's a separate run capacitor near my um, compressor. And we clearly have one line, sorry, two lines, which are the power lines, going to the overload and going to one side of the relay. And then we have two other lines from your capacitor connecting to the relay. So in this case, um, as I said, one line to the overload and um, common. The other line is connected to the relay and connects directly to the run pin. And then we have your um, relay as this box, which connects to your <coughs> start pin. And then there's a run capacitor that just simply connects to your relay and through the relay directly connects to each pin. So in this case, it's not that difficult. Basically, all we want to do is to connect the two power lines to our lines. And 
these two lines from the compressor. Basically, we take them and connect them to these points. Um, on my kit, I already had a connection point, a connector for capacitor, so you can just use that, or you can splice it and connect it here. Let's go to another. So in this case, we have the relay and overload in one box, and then the capacitor is actually this black box that's connected to, or it's plugged in on top of the relay. So here, um, this purple wire is actually one line that goes to your overload and relay. And then you have a pair of um, white wires that go to the neutral and um, to, to your um, relay. And then the run capacitor is just plugged in. So in this case, you, you need to remove the white box and basically don't use it anymore or replace it later but you need to keep the capacitor and that's your run capacitor. So you need to just use the connectors and similar to the last slide, just go back to that um, setup. Now that you know all the wires and use it. The last case, which was actually my compressor, which was a Samsung compressor. I could only, I could actually see three wires here, one wire connecting to the overload and two more wires. So at first it was a little puzzling um, which wires are which. So again, the hot line is connected there. That's my red line in this case. And then the neutral to the relay. And then there's this other line that gets connected to the start side or the left side of my relay. But actually in this case, there is a run capacitor, which is not here. It's on the, it's not on this side of the, um, compressor it's on the other side of the cabinet next to the control board and basically the line is connected to one side of the capacitor and to your relay as we could see we can see this side of the, the wire and we cannot see any of these things but the um, other wire is actually coming from the other side of the capacitor so first thing, this gives us an opportunity to test our um, run capacitor. So basically you can just measure the capacitance between these two wires, these two wires, once you unplug it. And that, that way you can test your run capacitor too without going and opening um, the other side and the control board. And once we verified that the run capacitor is fine, then all you need to do is to get rid of your overload and relay. And then one line, which was previously connected to the common, will go to that line. The other line that we could see as a connector, we can just connect it to this line. And this other one, um, which was connected to the start um, pin, you just need to splice it to the white wire of your kit and through the kit connect it to your start. And of course, the other two connectors of the kit just get connected directly to our compressor. So hope this video helps with some of the ambiguities around connecting these kits and what they do.